gets my favorite DJ. here uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to set up this Mac control Universal Pro and uh, I know I had a lot of questions when I first purchased it and nobody could help me but uh, through trial and error I was able to figure out a lot of things I'm still not an expert um, but I really um, have been using these guys and uh, for, for what they're worth but anyway all right what the questions I've been at, getting asked is how to set up the uh, the Mackie control and the extenders that come with it because I have two extenders and I have you know the main unit of course. Uh, what you need to do first is you need to get in Cubase. Okay, this is Cubase Seven. I'm on my Mac. Um, I use my Mac as a backup. My my main computer is a PC down in the basement, but um, in order to do this video, I have to do it on this Mac because. Of course, Apple gives you all these sweet applications to do this type of stuff. All right, anyway, you select devices, go down to device setup. Okay, over here you see remote devices. Already I have Mac Control, Mac Control 2, and Mac Control 3. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, go to Mac, go to remote devices, and you see this plus, minus, and then whatever this button is, it says reset message to all devices. Anyway, what you want to do is hit plus, and you get this drop down menu. You click on control, all right? Then you know, you get this little thing over here. It says, I got now I have Mac control four. So if I had like a Mac control unit and three extenders, I can do it like that. Okay, Mac control two, three, and four. So what you need to do over here, which is very important, you need to Go to your drop down menu and whatever you physically have your back control units plugged up to, um, you need to select those uh, inputs and outputs. So, your MIDI input would be uh, say, if you had to go into like I have a MIDI man and it has eight ins and eight outs, say I have like, my Mackie control extender going to uh, eight and eight in out, okay, of my Mackie uh, of my MIDI controller. So, I would look on here, I see uh, MIDI. In, I will select MIDI in over here. Then on the output, I will select MIDI out. Okay, simple as that. Bam, that's ready to go. So the same thing will be here. This will be going to say seven, six, and maybe five if I was using, you know, those in order like that. I like MIDI because MIDI brings those units right up and you don't have any errors. I don't like using USB anymore with that and I know you can daisy chain them through each other and all that. I did that for a long time but when I upgraded to Cubase 6 they didn't like that setup so now that I'm on 7 um, I definitely use MIDI and it's like it's instant recall I mean you know the units work perfectly with MIDI so I like it better that way instead of the USB okay so that's just my preference so here I'm going to delete this um, again I'm DJ Dev I hope that helped you out uh, enjoy if you got any questions you know uh, subscribe to my page and enjoy.